welcome back, Dukes. And you guys, it's Eddie at TV. I'm Eddie Ed, back with another video, okay? Ah, welcome back, Dukes. And you guys, it's Eddie at TV. I'm Eddie Ed, back with another video, okay? How many of us have encountered a school bully, right? Back in elementary, real quick, back in elementary, um, I would see the bullies, but I was the, I wasn't one of those, those, uh, young guys that got bullied, really. You know, no one really did that, but I would always kind of spot out the bullies and try to, like, stop them. Not physically, but, you know, I'd, you know, talk, talk them down. And sometimes it worked, sometimes they did what they want, but... Let's go ahead and hop, hop straight into the video. No more talking. Make sure you, uh, before we hop straight into the video, subscribe. It's free. Also, hit the notification. Yeah, hit the bell. Hit that bell right there, right next to it on the right side. Bow. Right? Just tap it, and you're going to be notified when I post a new video, okay? Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Say the TV. Bow. I hate bullies. You hate bullies. Nobody likes bullies. And see what sucks is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're terrible. Teacher. Because if you go to the teacher and the teacher goes to that bully, and guess what? That bully's going to come at you a hundred times harder. Plus, that's not how I was raised. My hood yeah. never let me be no snitch. We don't do that. Hold on, pause the video. Nah, no, ain't no, ain't no tattletelling. You got to handle that. Either call your big bro, call your big friend or somebody. We handle it like... Hold on. <laughs> we handle it. We handle it. We're, 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 we're handling... My tongue is a little thick right now. <clears throat> what? We handle it. <coughs> what the heck is wrong with my tongue? Let me take a sip of water. We handle our business like men. Ain't no tattletelling, baby. Four, fifth, six. No, you handle it yourself. Either you gotta get down and get dirty, or you go get your uh, big homie. Somebody. But we handle it like that. We won't tell no teacher, man. Unless a gun is involved. It was on Grand Theft Auto. And yeah, I was only in jail for like five seconds, but still, I ain't no snitch. There was this kid, Jonathan. I was in seventh grade, he was in ninth grade. This dude would constantly harass me, flick my ear, pull chairs off from underneath me when I'm trying to sit, punch me in the shoulder. One day in the hall, this dude. Hold on! Is this dude flirting? Ew! Is this dude flirting over here? What are you doing? That that sound, bro. Yo, whoever that was was after you, man. He probably liked what he saw. He hit me so hard in the back of the head, I legit forgot where I was at. Everybody was laughing at me. Like, I was fighting back the tears. It was so embarrassing. I wanted to tell the teachers, but I ain't no snitch, okay? I did my nickel, and I ain't rat on nobody. And then we don't do that. We got this new kid named Austin. Austin? was a pretty boy and all the girls were in love with him. Jonathan punch him. Like that punch him in the jaw. He took all that energy he was focusing on me and shifted it to Austin. Okay. After Jonathan stopped bullying me, like I'll just play. driving me to school and I'd be like, do you smell that mom? Do you smell that? You know what, you know what, that, you know what that smell is? It smells like freedom. Today is where my book begins and the rest is just unwritten. It felt so good to come to school and not be bullied. One day I step out into the hall after class and Jonathan has Austin pinned up against the locker. And Austin's like, if you hit me one more time, I'm gonna get my cousin to come over here tomorrow after school and kick your butt. And he goes to Robinswood. We went to a private school and Robinswood was like the public school version of our private school. Is he from Orlando? Is Swoozy from Orlando, guys? Cause Robin, I know, I know Robinswood. Like Robinswood, <clears throat> that's that's in, that's like, yeah. Oh, that's in how how was he like powers, bro? If he's talking about the Robinswood that is in Orlando, bro, I did not know he was from Orlando. Let's continue. This is getting interesting. <clears throat> but hold up, bro. Hold up. I got one thing to say, bro. I think Austin, Austin kind of gay, man. The pretty boy. You going after the pretty boy? Come on, man. And private school teachers always use those scare tactics so you don't leave the private school and go to a public school. So we were all petrified of Robin's with kids because of all the brainwashing. Jonathan wasn't buying his bluff. I don't care. Bring, get your cousin. Get your cousin and all his friends. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of him. I ain't scared of nobody. Okay. 
So the next day, school ends, and yes. I step out of the gym, and I see Jonathan sitting on the patio, and I'm like, let me just get comfortable. And then about 10 minutes later, guess who comes walking around the corner off the street? Yup, Austin. And guess who he's with? Yup, his cousin. And I'm um, like, I mean, oh, I mean, Jonathan was kind of gay. Junk is about to get round. Hey, see? That's what we do. Get your big homie. See? Austin's lips move, and then his cousin did like this power march toward Jonathan. And Jonathan steps away from the group, and his face just turns white. As his cousin gets closer, he puts his hands up like, hey, hey, listen, man, listen. Nah, ain't no listening. Ain't no listening no more. We here. You said bring him. You said bring him. You don't care. You know, whoever you want, he's here. Why you Why you getting scared? See? He, he pumped, oh, man. Go wow. ahead. No questions. No so questions. Punched him right in his muffin. He was like, no questions ding, asked. Ding, ding. It was over. I wanted to run over and be like, boom, headshot, MLG Pro. Look at me, look at me. He is the captain, no. Okay? And you know, I thought that was it. Like, fight's over. But nah, he beat the crap Ooh. out of Jonathan. Ooh. And all of Jonathan's boys just stood around watching. Not one of them tried to help. I felt like wow. I was watching Marvel vs. Capcom in real life. Like, he's throwing Jonathan up in the air. He's got a suit <laughs> coming in and throwing lasers at him. He walked back over to Austin, and then I see Jonathan, like, limping toward him. And he goes, yeah, you better run. Probably not the smartest thing. Shut up, man. Because then Austin's cousin turned around. Ran back over to him, grabbed him by the hair, and then starts slamming his head into the wall over Ooh. and over. And then he just walked off like nothing. Like his shirt wasn't even wrinkled. The next day at school, it looked like Jonathan had been neutered. He didn't talk to nobody. He sure as heck was not bullying Austin no more. <laughs> he, he didn't bully anybody for the rest of the year. It That's almost you seemed get. like he turned into a foreign exchange student who didn't know English. You know, he barely speak. <laughs> Can you guys, can somebody pass me an eraser, please? And that's it. If you're clowning somebody else at school, stop it. If you physically are touching or laying hands on somebody else at school, stop it. Let's just make this real simple, since a lot of bullies don't realize they're bullying people. Don't say or do anything to anybody that you wouldn't want them to say or do to you. That's it. That's it, but people don't want to do that. They want to act tough. <clears throat> hey, man. Jonathan got what he deserves, son. He had it coming. Austin told him, "Hey, I'm gonna bring my cousin over here. He gonna he, he gonna handle no business. Stop doing what you're doing. He handled his business like a like like a young man that he was back at that time. That's what we do out here. Bring your bring your cousin, your your brother, your you know your big friend that you have, and let him and let, and let him bust down. That's what he get. I, I don't feel sad for no no Jonathan. Jonathan got what he got. I remember I had this one uh, friend named Bo." Back in um, <clears throat> A Bucks Academy, the Bo Bo was huge. Uh, we were in fifth grade. Bo was like six one, five five six one, like in fifth grade. He was big. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, that was my guy, and I was much smaller too, you know, back in the day. But that was my guy, so ain't no troubles, you know, happen. And if trouble happened, I would handle it myself, but. If I didn't want to handle it, hey Bo man, clean clean them up, clean them up, son. You know, <laughs> you know, clean them up. That's what I used to do. But um, yeah, the, hey, hey, this bullying thing gotta stop, subside. Like, what are you doing? What you know? A lot of people go through stuff that you know, create, probably getting bullied by you know by somebody else, or you know things happened in the past. Now, now they changed into this type of person. So a lot of things could come into factor, but we're not talking about that. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, okay? It's free. Click that notification bell so you know when I post a video. <clears throat> and also follow me on social media, Eddie and TV. And then, yeah, let's keep rocking, let's keep popping. Till next episode, it's Eddie and TV.